we're on the move once again. Where could we be going this time? Where in the West will we end up on our journey today? Stay tuned and find out. Well, this uh, video is starting out a little differently. I hope you guys will have the patience to watch it. But from when we left Crowley Lake BLM Campground, which I thought was really nice, we headed south down towards Bishop, California. And I'm trying to make this trip as cheap but as comfortable and safe as possible. So I googled the BLM campgrounds near Bishop and came up with three. And they are, according to the list, we visited the Horton Creek Campground, the Pleasant Valley Pit Campground, and the Volcanic Tabletop Campground outside of Bishop, California. I keep wanting to say Boise for some reason. Um, and after checking into all three of these different BLM campgrounds here in the area, I felt that the people there probably are there because they don't want to be found, they don't want to be noticed, they don't want to be bothered. And all three of these campgrounds, BLM campgrounds, were totally different in their location, their uh, environment, and the road conditions getting up there. I was amazed to see some of the vehicles I saw up there, and it only told me that these people are here for the long term. So without further ado, let's pick up where we left Crowley Lake BLM campgrounds and I'll show you the three BLM campgrounds we checked out before we ended up here where we're at currently, which is a surprisingly very nice RV campground slash Western Museum setup. So, I don't know if I'll squeeze that into this because I try to keep my videos short so people will watch them uh, all the way through and enjoy them. So, let me know at the end of this video what you thought and please, feedback is appreciated. Okay? So, on with the show. Well, here we are at tonight's stay at Horton Creek BLM Campgrounds. And we're just going to shoot out in that direction to the campgrounds. There's quite a few BLM campgrounds in the uh, Bishop area going north or south on Highway 395 in the eastern Sierras of California. And I'm just checking them out. We'll see what this one is like tonight. Here we are at the Horton Creek Recreational Site. Here we are at the start of the campgrounds. It goes way up this valley. Climbs a little more altitude as it goes up. But for me, with Verizon, the signal is uh, two to three bars. Basically, mostly useless in this region with mountains tall mountains all around us so we're gonna head on to another BLM campground hopefully with a better signal for uh, Verizon so here's the cutoff for the next BLM campground we're gonna check out and it goes up this dirt road into the hills here so we'll see if we get better reception and what these campgrounds look like Onward, the adventure continues. Well, this is the uh, road to Pleasant Valley Pit BLM Campground. And it's a, a lot ruggeder and rough than the uh, semi-paved road we were just on up at the other campsite we visited. I'm looking way down to my left in a valley it looks green and lush and I'm thinking man this looks like the long way to get there unless there's something up here I'm missing 
Holy cow. Well, I'll have to find out what that one I saw down below was. But, uh, yeah, we're up here on the top of a hill. I'll have to check this place out. Hopefully the signal is better. Down there is where I thought we were going to go, but even that's deeper down into the gully. Probably zero, absolute zero bars. But it sure looked nice from up here. We're heading back to uh, join Highway 395. And from there we'll go to the next location. This is an adventure, checking all these BLM campgrounds out, that's for sure. Well, here is that area I saw up above from the uh, Pitt BLM campgrounds. This is an area to camp and, I guess, fish in the Owens River, which must be over there, I'm guessing. That's why this is so, so green. And they have all kinds of interesting things here, the fee station. It's all automated. And a little picture of the Pleasant Valley Riverfront Campground for fishing. So, this is pretty interesting. Check this out. Fishing notice information about fishing. Oh yeah, the plague. Uh-huh. Well, that'd be nice to catch something like that. Holy cow. But, RV septic tank pupping, black and gray, 15 for RV. Their little robot pay machine. This is unique. I've never seen a place like this. As you can see, we're right below this huge rock bluff. I can hear the river from here. It's really nice. Let's go over and see if we can even find the river. This is a sign here along, uh, I guess it's what they call a river here in California. Let me, uh, I'm on a little wad, I'm on a little wooden plank going across the river from where I parked in the day use area. I'll swing around here. You can see there's campgrounds on this side which look shut down and unused and there's my rig over there well I just met a fisherman going down to the river and I asked him what they catch and he says they catch brown trout rainbow trout quite a variety of different trouts I guess that populate the stream that's why it's such a good fishing stream so I'll put that in the old memory for uh, another day when I'm prepared for something like that but we're gonna go off to uh, volcanic tabletop BLM campgrounds and we'll see how things are there well here we are looks like the road ends for the next several miles here so uh, Let's see. Jeez, all right. Here we go. Going up to Volcanic Top BLM Campgrounds. And jeez, what a road. Whoa, okay. We'll continue when we get up to the campsite. Well, here we are. Heading up to the top of this plateau. It's a rough road going up, I tell you. All right, let's check this place out. Yeehaw! It's always an adventure, I tell you. Whoa! I just don't want to get stuck in this soft sand. That's the only problem. Keep the tires rolling forward. Everything else is falling off the ceiling here, I tell ya. Okay, what do we got up here? And we got a heck of a view, that's for sure. 
Okay. Well, we are up here on this plateau. It doesn't really have campsites, it just has pull-offs. I don't know what the fascination with people, I don't know if it's the locals or just visitors that have to bring their bottles up here, bust them up, scatter them all over the road, the campgrounds. It's just asinine. So, after deciding that the tabletop BLM campground was a total failure, there was no per se camping areas, just turnoffs, and what one or two good areas were had already been taken by apparently semi-permanent residents, shall we say. So I decided to come back into the town of Bishop and look for a reasonable place to stay and we found Brownstown and Western Museum RV right here and I tell you we came checked it out and I was impressed for $30 tent site $35 power and everything this was a gem to find so we'll continue and this is where we're at now so keep watching and find out how great this little place is. Well, here we are in Brownstown, Bishop, California. A really nice little RV campground here, and it comes with its own Wild West town that you can wander through, go into the buildings, check out all the Old West artifacts and antiques. Nice little addition to this place. And it's surrounded on two sides by a huge 19 hole golf course. It has laundry, it has showers, it has power hookups, fresh water, and it has tent sites. Pretty inclusive. Let's stick our head in to the livery stable and the Buckhorn Gazette next door and find what there is. In here we have some very old carriages. Ah, uh, the simpler times. We don't know what we missed in a slower paced life, more in touch with nature. Let's look into the Buckhorn Gazette, see what they have. And what we have here are various ways of communicating, some that I'm familiar with, typewriters, non-electric, and that big thing in there is a huge, huge printing press, which I'm sure a lot of people today, kids especially, have no clue what it is. Yeah, this is the simpler times, believe it or not, before we had apps to tell us what to do. Now, partner, let's wander on over here to the main part of town and check out what there is. This is the golf course that wraps partially around the campgrounds here. Well, let's do some exploring. Let's go in the first building here. Looks like quite a collection of what you'd find in any old west ghost town. Various bottles of ointments once to help a person with an upset stomach. Various office machines, a really old cash register, tools, everyday use things. Well, let's go next door. Walking down the old wooden planks here, wondering how many others have tread these same boards. Well, let's go look in here. More items. Whoa! What the heck is this thing? Is that some kind of a boiler? Can't quite figure it out. 
the Smith system. Not sure what the heck that thing is. But we have more knickknacks and things from the Owens Valley. Fishing is a big, big thing here. Fly fishing, lake fishing, there's lakes and rivers everywhere with brown trout, rainbow trout. I tell you, I'm going to come back here again and I'm going to do some serious fishing. Have some fresh trout next time. Well, let's go out. Turn around here. All kind of little knickknacks and history items. Here's the laundry. I'm doing my laundry today. Got to have clean underwear on the road. And I was hoping they'd have this opened. I'd like to see who's in there. Solitary confinement, I bet. And we'll go down here. And this is the village smithy. The old bellows there. This was some hard labor. But the craftsman was excellent at his job. And let's see. Let's go down here. <clears throat> An old gas station. Can't quite see what's in there. Windows are pretty crummy. There's no opening or anything. Really, really old gas station. Texaco. I remember the Flying A with the Pegasus. That was neat. And let's go over here. An old old wagon of some type. Probably to haul trees or lumber. And what do we got in here? Ho ho! Shades of John Wayne. Stagecoach. Wow, that was traveling back then. Couldn't be a, a pansy. Had to have a backbone back then. If you were a whiner, a slap across the face would knock you out of it. Bring you back to your senses. You wouldn't be coddled and cushioned. Yep. Sometimes I think I was born a hundred years too late. I understand the hard times, the lack of medicines and everything, but dang, it was a real life back then. And you were building a nation. They also have a large playground for kids. That highway out in front of us is the highway that goes right through downtown Bishop. And I thought Bishop was a really nice little town. Been here a couple days, exploring it. Gone to different places. I think I'd like to come back here and do some serious fishing in the lakes and rivers. Well, that'll be for another trip. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short tour of Brownstown, Old West Town, and RV campgrounds. I tell you, it's well worth the $30 or $35 to camp here per day. I've paid more for a heck of a lot less. Oh, so I'm just going to sit here, relax, enjoy the beautiful weather, the old west surroundings, and uh, just take my time. That's why I'm here, to relax, travel, enjoy this half of my life, retired. No hurry, no particular place to go. Got my travel companions with me. What more can a man ask for? I don't know. But I know I'm happy. I hope you are too. So, uh, until we meet again, the girls and I wish you happy trails and woof woof. <laughs>